What's up everyone? Today is volume day and that means I'm working up to five sets of five on squats and I'm also doing, I don't know if it's five sets of five or three sets of five on bench press, but either way I'll be working up to some volume bench. So I haven't been sharing too much training footage with you and that's mostly just because I've been extremely busy with work and you know it's the holiday season so a lot of things are going on, a lot of things are happening. But specifically, I actually failed um, my heavy day twice. So this is my third week redoing the, the whole week. Um, the heavy day is usually on Fridays for me. The first time I failed it, I got one rep when I was supposed to get five, and then I re-racked because it didn't feel right and I felt like I might hurt myself. The second time, I got three reps when I was supposed to get five. It's weight that I've handled before, and I know on those days it wasn't a strength issue. It was a mechanical issue, and it was a mechanical issue because I just didn't have enough time to warm up and prepare myself for the session. I've just had a lot of like work meetings scheduled, you know, we're, we're at year end now, so a lot of things are getting wrapped up, projects launched, you know, a lot of things happening. So, you know, I'm not a professional power lifter, you know, I don't do that for my profession, it's, it's just something I do, you know. Um, so basically, other things come before lifting obviously, and um, not a big deal. So I'm redoing the entire week this week, which means this Friday I'm gonna work up to that heavy day. I'll film it for you. But it's gonna be Christmas day, so I'm not sure, and even just this week in general is gonna be very busy, so I'm not sure how it's all gonna unfold. You know, I'm not racing in any way, and I'm not you know preparing for a competition, so I don't mind redoing the, the training week um, as many times as needed until it's Perfect, and then I'll move on. Uh, so that's pretty much what I'm doing this week. Just going to redo today, which I've already done, you know, twice before. Uh, five sets of five, 390 pounds. It went, it went well in both, you know, both times I did it to for the past two weeks. So I'm going to do it today and crush it. But I actually want to show you a new bench press I bought. I'm really excited about this because I can't stand my old bench press. So I'm going to show you them side by side, and you'll see what I mean. So it's pretty cool. The new one is on the right, and that's my old one. So the thing about the old one, first of all, it wasn't the proper height. Second of all, it had this like dip here, which is okay if you want to do incline and decline, but the new one on the right is the proper competition style bench press. It can handle way more weight than that one there. It's completely flat, and I added this little mat to it to, to get, give it more grip. But you can see the stability difference here. Like, check this out. I'm trying to like shake it. it doesn't move. Try to shake the new one or the old one. Watch this. So <laughs> the old one is not a powerlifting bench press, but it did the job. Anyways, let's get straight to this session and let's get to using the bench press. I want to kick things off by saying I'm going to announce the giveaway winner later this week. I want to upload a video close to Christmas, and I think that that makes sense. It's in line, you know, you get a gift around Christmas time. Uh, I'll probably upload a video, just like a random vlog. I'll talk about some topic that's been on my mind, and or maybe I'll just go through the messages or comments and just pick one out. But I did want to get this video uploaded today, which is Monday's training session. So I'm uploading this on a Tuesday, and... Uh, I feel pretty good actually, uh, you know, the day after training. I was a little tight and rigid uh, yesterday when doing this workout, so I took my warm ups and everything just really slowly. And you'll notice that here, like even the, the eccentric and concentric portions of the movement, everything's moving slow, but it's not because of any sort of strength inability, it's just I just wanted to take it really easy. My left side had been acting up. That's sort of the reason why I failed those two weeks prior as I mentioned it's just because I didn't have enough time to warm myself up and mobilize prior to getting into the workout which if I sit at my desk and work and whatever for you know five hours straight if I don't have at least let's say a half an hour to 40 minutes to warm up then when I get into my heavy sessions it's just gonna be extremely hard for me to perform the movements and do it well and because I do sit while I work almost all the time, it, it often makes it very tricky for me to go and do my training, especially if I have like, you know, a set meeting time prior to working out and then a set one after working out, and it's just like, 
okay, where's where's my time to A, get in the training session and B, get in my mobility work so that I can actually do the training session. So, not a big deal. It's just kind of what I deal with. And, you know, obviously if I, if I was like a professional lifter, then my whole day would be revolved around like lifting and training people and YouTubing and all this, you know, wonderful stuff. But it, it's just not how it goes. Lifting is really more of a of an interest of mine and, and a hobby, and you know it does lead to other things, but it's it's not my my profession. Let's put it that way. So, otherwise, the session went well yesterday, and I'm really pleased with it. I'm excited to get at my heavy day this Friday. I'm gonna try and take some Epsom salt baths and do some extra stretching and whatnot leading up to the Friday, just because I don't want to get in another position where I'm failing that top set. Um, but I don't think I will. I think I should be pretty good. And if I do, <laughs> not a big deal. I'll restart the week and I'll do it again. I have no idea what time I'm even going to be able to train on Friday because it's Christmas Day and there's just so much happening. Um, you know, from, from, a, from a personal standpoint in my life, I just have a lot of things to, you know, uh, gatherings and whatnot. So I'm not entirely sure when, uh, when I'll get the session in, but either way, I'll get it in. I might even push it to like the weekend or something. So here we have, it's actually Spoto Press, which I'm warming up to. Uh, but what you can see here is I'm just kind of doing touch and go reps on the warm ups until I get up into the, the actual working sets. So the working sets for the Spoto Press today was five sets of five. So what I'm doing here is a spoto press and basically that means that I'm pausing the bar and holding it for usually like a one second to two second pause above my chest and then I'm pressing. And the gap between my chest and the bar is usually about an inch or two and then I'm pressing. The whole point is to strengthen yourself at the sticking point which is approximately one to two inches above your chest. And the fact that I'm using this new bench press is friggin' awesome so check this out. This is the first uh, working top set, so I gotta do five sets of five here. It's really cool being on this bench press because I don't wiggle around too much, like it stays still. It's got these like rubbery pads that hold to the ground, and then I have that mat wrapped around it which just like sets it off, so. It is like, I can't even begin to describe how much better this is for me and my gains than the one I was using before, that janky thing. I uh, figured I'd give you some close up angles here so you can see exactly what the pause looks like. So you can see I'm like not quite touching my chest, I'm giving it a one second pause and then I'm going back up. I could even pause that for a little bit longer and it would uh, it would complete the movement even, even nicer to be honest, but it's not like it's a big deal and this weight isn't really that heavy. It just... Uh, it really keeps time under tension on the muscle when you have to pause like that. So try this out yourself. I think it really carries over in a great way to bench press. And I did it before when Omar Isak put it on my programming. So I figured I'd try it again and see what I get out of it. Thanks for watching as always. I'll catch you again next time.